Welcome new visitors of my channel. I'm Alain, coming to you from Paris. Whenever I visit a new city, I always want to know what are the most essential places you just have to visit. So today, to help you out, I'm sharing with you 15 things every first timer must do in Paris. Without further ado, let's get to this list. What's more French than starting the day with a baguette or a croissant? Start your mornings in Paris the classic way. French breakfasts are simple but delicious. Grab a fresh baguette or buttery croissant at the boulangerie and pair it with a café crème. You'll find boulangerie everywhere and the best ones often have a line. But trust me, it's worth it. Personally, my favorite way to enjoy this is at a café terrasse savoring a baguette with jam, a croissant, and a hot chocolate while watching Paris wake up around me. There are hundreds of great cafes in Paris, but if I had to recommend two, I'd say Le Nemours near the Louvre for its iconic charm, and the famous Café des Deux Magots in Saint-Germain, perfect for a classic Parisian experience. Taking your time at breakfast is practically a French pastime, so settle in, people watch, and start your day at a relaxed Parisian pace. To Parisians, the most beautiful avenue in Paris is the River Seine. Seeing Paris from the Seine offers a unique perspective of the city's stunning architecture, with some of its most iconic landmarks all in one journey. The Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, the Louvre, the Orsay Museum, the Grand Palais, and more. Most cruisers come with commentary, so you'll get a mini history lesson as you glide past these magical sites. My tip? Try to board a boat around sunset. The light bathes everything in a golden glow, and if you're lucky, you might catch the Eiffel Tower sparkling at the end. There are malls, there are department stores, and then there's the Galerie Lafayette, Parisian elegance at its finest. No trip to Paris would be quite complete without visiting this iconic department store. Start by exploring the fashion and beauty sections. It may be a bit of a splurge, but the displays are stunning. Be sure to head up to the rooftop terrace for an amazing free view of Paris. And here's a pro tip. If you're visiting around Christmas time, the dome is decked out with incredible decorations. And the massive Christmas tree beneath it makes for an unforgettable Parisian memory. As I mentioned, the Galerie Lafayette rooftop is a fantastic spot for a bird's eye view of Paris. For other panoramic views, you can also head to the Montparnasse Tower, the Arc de Triomphe on top of the Champs Elysees, or the Sacré Cœur at the top of Montmartre. My personal daylight favorite? Climbing to the top of the Tour Saint-Jacques. It's guided access only, but the reward is an incredible view over Paris' historic center. And here's another tip. Try to reach the Montparnasse Tower rooftop just before dusk. You'll get to experience Paris in both day and night. The city takes on a magical glow as the lights come on, as you can see in this amazing time lapse. Did you know that the Louvre has more art than you could see in three months? So pacing yourself is key. While the Mona Lisa draws huge crowds, the quieter wings are home to equally stunning works.
Here are my two insider tips. Enter through the Porte des Lyons to skip the lines entirely. And if you are visiting on a Wednesday or Friday, the museum stays open until 9 p.m. instead of 6 p.m. Come later for a more peaceful experience. For a quick but rewarding route, check out my 10 tips for the Louvre video, where I've mapped out a journey to see the top 10 masterpieces as efficiently as possible. No trip in France would be complete without a true café experience. And in Paris, no neighborhood captures café culture quite like Saint-Germain-des-Prés, where artists and intellectuals have gathered for centuries. Grab a coffee at iconic spots like Café de Flore, Les Deux Magots, or Le Procope. Sit outside and indulge in a favorite Parisian pastime, people watching. Paris cafes are places where ideas flow and conversations linger. So take your time and soak in the moment, just like a true Parisian. Montmartre feels like stepping back in time, with its cobblestone streets and artists every corner. Place du Tertre might be a bit touristy, but getting your portrait painted there is part of the experience. Wander up to the Sacré-Cœur for a breathtaking view. The magic of Montmartre never fades. But for the real heart of Montmartre, head to its quieter north side. Explore Rue des Abreuvoirs, Place marcel aimé and Rue Le Pic. Just take a stroll and feel like you're living out a scene from Amélie in Paris. For a real taste of local life, make sure to visit a French market, like Marché d'Aligue or Place Monge. Pick up some cheese, charcuterie and fresh fruit, then head to a park or a spot along the Seine for a picnic. This is how we Parisians unwin on sunny weekends and the lively atmosphere is infectious. Be adventurous and try something new, like Riette de Port or a creamy brie. It's all part of the delicious experience. When they revamped the list of the world's seven wonders, the Saint Chapel should have made the cut. This former church has the most breathtaking stained glass you'll feel like you're standing inside a kaleidoscope. For me, this is maybe the most beautiful church in the world. And while you're on Ile de la Cité, you'll soon be able to visit Notre Dame Cathedral again reopening in December 2024. Along with St. Peter's in Rome, it's one of the world's most famous and visited churches. Don't forget to step on Point Zero, right outside the cathedral, and make a wish. It's said to bring luck to all who visit. Just north of the cathedral, across the Seine, Le Marais is a captivating mix of chic boutiques, vibrant cafes, and historic places. Once the center of aristocratic Paris, today it's both a cultural hotspot and home to the city's Jewish and LGBTQ communities. Don't miss the Marché des Enfants Rouges, the oldest covered market in Paris. And for a peaceful moment, head to Place des Vosges, the city's oldest square. Pick up some exquisite macarons from Carrette, then settle onto a bench or even the lawn. You're welcome to lie down and soak it all in. Persian bistros and brasseries are where you'll discover the authentic French cuisine. With hundreds to choose from, you'll find reviews of many in my food and restaurant playlist. Be sure to try escargot, bœuf bourguignon, blanquette de veau, or cassoulet. Each dish is rich and bursting with flavor. If you're feeling adventurous, ask your server for a wine pairing to elevate your meal. It's a culinary journey you won't soon forget. 
Of course, in Paris, the Eiffel Tower is a must-see, and it is as enchanting from below as it is from the top. But would the experience be complete without climbing it? Sure, there might be long lines, and tickets to the summit often sell out weeks in advance. But it's a quintessential stop of any successful Parisian getaway. You simply have to ascend the Iron Lady. If you're afraid of heights, don't worry. At the very least, visit in the evening to witness its sparkling lights every hour. Paris, by night, is truly enchanting. If you haven't experienced it yet, I highly recommend watching Midnight in Paris by Woody Allen to see how a night in this city can transform you. Whether you hop on a bus, cruise in a car, ride a tuk-tuk, or simply stroll along the Seine, witnessing the illuminated monuments will make you appreciate why Paris is called the city of light. There are few moments more romantic in Paris than when the city sparkles under the night sky. While there are many parks in Paris, the Luxembourg Gardens are a true green oasis. Perfect for a break from sightseeing. You'll find a charming pond where children sail little boats and plenty of benches to sit back, relax and soak in the atmosphere. It's one of the most classic spots for a Parisian picnic. And here's a fun fact. The palace within the gardens is also the French House of Senators. And last, for the grand finale, take a day trip to Versailles. The Hall of Mirrors and the Vast Gardens are absolutely breathtaking. But don't overlook the other rooms in the palace. Each has its own charm. My personal favorite is the Galerie des Batailles, or Battles Gallery. And here's a helpful tip. Aim to visit midweek to avoid the crowds. It's a rural experience you won't forget especially in summer, when the fountains in the gardens are in full splendor. And there you have it, 15 essentials for your first visit to Paris. I hope these tips make your Paris trip unforgettable. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time with more Paris tips. Au revoir.